think it's got Ryan Reynolds in it. Emily Blunt. I'm not gonna lie. No, no, no. I actually Ryan, Gosling. Ryan, Ryan Gosling. Not oh. Ryan Reynolds. What is it called? Oh. Something about falling off a cliff. Oh. I don't know. I'm really excited to have you on the show, but I haven't Thank seen you. I haven't seen Derek. I haven't seen him all day either. What's that up there? Yeah, look. Is that Derek up there? Yeah, it is. What How did he get up Earth? there? Man's flying. Look at that. Because I don't have a script for this episode. I have literally yeah, no idea what good. we're going to do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes, welcome back to Silly Derek Media. And um, this may be our worst podcast episode yet. Derek, we don't have a script. <laughs> but we're reviewing the movie Full Guy, Not Free Guy. Not the Ryan Reynolds movie. And we've got Ben in the studio with us too. Hello, Ben. Hello. I've got nothing good to say, but I'm here. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah, no. <laughs> so awesome. He's just sitting in the corner. Uh, Derek, what did we think of the movie? It stars Emily Van, Ryan Gosling. What what are our th best thoughts? How did Gay get away with all these permits to blow up things in front of the Sydney Opera House? There's a boat chase. Uh, there's a car flip on on a beach, and then. I'll tell you, Derek. I'll yeah. tell you. It's 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 called money. They paid a lot of money <laughs> to the New South Wales government. Yeah. And then the permits they just wrote themselves. Yeah. They didn't do anything. Yeah. Believe me. <laughs> money will get you anywhere. Money. I did legitimately think this. I was like, how are they? Like we've tried to film stuff in Brisbane. Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> no permits given at all. Um, I thought it was a sweet film, though. I thought it was very cool for yeah. a film that was made in Australia. And I was surprised by how much of the stunts were practical and get Ryan Gosling getting dragged behind a truck across Sydney Harbour Bridge. Um, the scenes where they shot in actual tunnels and they shot in actual streets and mm. cars being flipped. So I was quite impressed by you know, the action. And as an action film, I think um, it delivers. Um, really liked the moment. There was like a few, like there was a Taylor Swift moment where he was crying in the car. Um, we just watched the trailer with Ben and he they cut a lot of this good like lines out of the trailer and they just, it was gone. I don't know if that was an intentional marketing decision because they were kind of like, yeah. let's get rid of some of these lines, stuff like that. But no, I thought I thought it was cool. Um, in terms of like, I think it was a good film. I think, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> this yeah. is so unscripted. Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Yeah. Film, right? yeah. I enjoy <laughs> seeing things move on a screen and exploding. Yeah. So I, yeah. I, I yeah. appreciated the film. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought um I thought it was an interesting twist. So obviously you've got Tom Ryder. I don't know what you thought about that. How they built that kind of like plot and that twist, whether it was unique or kind of yeah. I liked uh, there was there's a bit of stuff about um actors getting stunt people getting deep faked and then mm. they they use that to claim the fact that they do their own stunts. Yes. So then there's a bit of conspiracy going on. Uh, there's stuff I remember that reminded me of stuff when they said that Jackie Chan didn't actually do his own stunts and what he did what Jackie Chan did was he would um, get his stuntman to do the stunts when they get injured he'd, he'd refilm himself doing the stunts as a BTS footage yeah. and he'd fake his own injuries as well so for some reason it reminded me of that uh, I thought so I but I did think this film was like a love letter for stunt people so I think on that front it did that part exceptionally Ryan Gosling has a line where he says uh, no we don't give out stunts to stunts we don't give out Oscars for stunts so yes yeah, that, yeah. that kind of worked very well I I also liked um, it doesn't just show stunt people it also shows like the cranes and all mm. the things that goes in like when when they filmed that car chase on the beach, there's seven cameras, one's mounted on, you know, a helicopter and, and there's cranes on top of a car. So it, it I like the attention to detail in Definitely. terms of how, you know, movies like that put together an action scene and all the people that go behind it. Definitely. So. I even thought, like, Emily and Ryan's relationship was kind of cool. I think the direct, like, having, like, a female director first-time movie. Um, but I thought it was interesting. I thought um, particularly kind of showing, like, an inspiring filmmaker. Obviously, she was originally a camera operator, and then she kind of became this filmmaker. I thought that was kind of a cool a kind of cool plot. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Something we hadn't always seen before in these, you know, typical holiday ho Hollywood movies. Yeah, my favorite part was, um, I think Ryan Reynolds... I mean, Ryan Gosling, my gosh. Uh, <laughs> uh, Free I, guy. Yeah. It was great. I loved he's, it. <laughs> he's developed an ability to be the coolest guy in the room and also the goofiest guy in the room. Mm. And the fact that he's pulling those two together, like it's amazing. And I think that... For sure, Barbie, for sure. And my favorite role from Ryan Gosling is Nice Guys because it shows that he does have such a strong comedic timing. Even great movie, he, yeah. 
even when you watch him on SNL, like when he just breaks character, and there's just something like funny about it. And and this, yeah, this once again shows off that yeah he is enjoying doing these kinds of roles. And yeah, like, even like there was like little gags, like the unicorn bit where he saw unicorns because he drank. The, I don't know whatever yeah, that was. Yeah, there's a lot of <laughs> <The> background. <drugs. laughs> yeah. There's a lot of background. There's a bit where he's breaking into the hotel room and then he hides his face from the uh, surveillance yeah. camera and you see him sort of going yes he but, looks so dodgy doing that that's so yeah, funny uh, I kind of wish Emily Blunt had a bit more screen time it did that, I think so like uh, it really it cut her out a lot yeah, yeah I, the espionage subplot kind of of him having to find this missing actor played by Aaron Taylor Johnson that kind of took, mm. took quite a lot of the film rather than I would expect them to have a bit more time together. Yes, I thought they could have shown more of her as a filmmaker and created something in yeah. within that. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. no, no, very interesting. Well, I thought that all the families that went to go see it loved it. I feel like it's a good, it's a good family yeah. blockbuster. Two thumbs up. Keep paying us Universal Pictures. Oh my no! Why is this what is going? <laughs> What's going on? Apple one thumbs down. That's what uh, I'm thinking about right now. No! <laughs> uh, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe.